Good morning from the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. I'm Jane King for The Street, and today is Monday, May 4th. Coming up today, Chicago Fed President Charles Evans speaks about the economy and monetary policy. Major hedge funders are expected at the 20th annual Sone Conference in New York, and oil company Anadarko reports its quarterly earnings. Well, American Express is rolling out its loyalty program called Plenty today. It allows U.S. shoppers for the first time to earn rewards points through a variety of purchases, from paying a phone bill to filling up at the gas pump. It's not tied to a single company or credit card issuer. Users can join for free and you don't have to be American Express members. Now, some of the participating merchants are Enterprise Redicar, Rite Aid and Macy's. Well, Comcast beat on both the top and bottom lines. Its earnings came in 79 cents a share versus 74 cents expected. It also increased its shareholder repurchase program by two and a half billion dollars to a total of 6.75 billion in 2015. Comcast said its video subscriptions were down slightly. And Syngenta shares have gained 8% after a report that U.S. seed company Monsanto has approached it about a potential takeover. Bloomberg reports that Monsanto has drawn up plans to sell off parts of the combined business to avoid antitrust issues that derailed earlier negotiations. A potential Monsanto-Syngenta deal could lead to other mergers in the seed and chemicals industries. And that is a wrap for us, but be sure to track breaking news and analysis all day at thestreet.com. At the NASDAQ market site in Times Square, I'm Jane King for The Street. Have a great day.